I know we're walking into something that's already a massive success. Why well, can't, as an actor, make a show and worry about how it's going to be received? All I can do is do my best possible job in performing it, you know. The king has an heir, Damon Targaryen. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. Guys, congratulations on this. Uh, I watched the first episode. What can you say about your characters? Viserys Targaryen. He's, uh, you know, he's just a great ruler. He's a good man, you know, a peacetime king, which is very boring. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, he's a man who, who very much in, in the, you know, from the first episode, great tragedy strikes him, and uh, you know, um, I think he's somebody who's like tr trying to be a king that pleases everybody, and ultimately that has a very detrimental effect on him later on. Yeah. And Damon is the opposite? Yes, in many ways, but yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're weirdly similar and weirdly opposite, like all siblings. But yeah, in many ways, he's very opposite. He's reactionary, he's impetuous, he's violent. He's, um, he's you know, attention-seeking. There's a madness to him. Yeah, he is attention-seeking, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, and there's bit. nothing worse if you're an attention-seeker, if you're being ignored. By, you're, you're going, uh, notice me, notice yeah. me. What's his relationship like with Rhaenyra? In the first episode, it seems like there's, when, when members of the same family in this show stare at each other a little too long, the assumptions are made. But how would you describe, what can you tell me about their relationship, especially by the end of the, the episode? Of you know, Change. again, there's a very close bond between the two of them. Um, and one that is, uh, the, the, you know, there is something very unique about their relationship compared to his relationship with anyone else. I think he treats her with more respect than he does most. So, this is this is this will be your what third show that's had like an incredibly passionate fandom, Doctor Who, The Crown, and now Game of Thrones show, House of the Dragon. Two questions. One, I uh, like how do you keep doing this, well, finding yourselves in this in these positions that I'm sure many actors would want to be in. And then sub question, like, are you guys all prepared for the level of uh, passion that comes with? Uh, that comes with this show from the fans. I don't mind passion. I can deal with passion. Yeah. That's great. It's yeah. a good thing. I mean, it, I, there's, it's certainly, uh, you know, so passionate that I, you know, as we've discussed in some of the other rooms, the fans are still a little bit divided. Some are a bit bitter even about the the previous series' finale episode. I'm, I'm sure you can't think about that when you're going to work, but once it's in the can, like, do you think about stuff like that? Can't take it on, you know. I, I hope they, I do hope people enjoy it, but you, well, I can, how can I possibly take that on? I know we're walking into something that's already a massive success, so, you know, that's that's a given, but, you know, that we're walking into, it's not unknown territory in a way, but I can't, you can't make a show, well, I can't as an actor make a show and worry about how it's gonna be received. All I can do is do my best possible job in performing it, you know, and that's the trip. Um, the other stuff is completely out of my control. I've served Viserys as best I can. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. War is afoot. Matt, what have you learned about, as I said, all these shows that have such passionate fandoms? What have you learned about navigating fandom in your time doing all these shows? I think I've been very fortunate. Like, you know, the Doctor Who community is a really lovely community to, to be part of. People on, on the whole are, are very encouraging and only really positive. And, and um, look, this is an, a, a new and it's a different genre and a different community, and I don't know. But I, I, look, we've tried our best to make a show that is original and entertaining. and. That's hopefully what you know we'll have done, but we're not, we, we won't please everyone. In yeah, of course. Is there a moment when you're shooting the show that it, is there's like a surreal feeling because like you know I know how they're shooting it now, and I'm sure with all the costumes, I'm sure it feels like I'm sure it feels surreal, right? When you're in armor for like eight hours a day, it's like what is is this my job? What's yeah. going on here? And it's like day four of like a scene when you're having lunch. That stuff gets a bit mad, doesn't it? Yeah, some of these scenes were shot over a lot four days uh, and more, yeah, more, and yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you do get that sense of like, did you, we ever leave this place? You go a bit cuckoo. Your family has dragons. Yeah, power man should never have trifled with. If either of you had a dragon in real life, what would you name it? Rufio. Rufio. Oh, from the uh, Rufio. The, from Hulk. Rufio. From Hulk, the Lost yeah. Boys. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not very good at all that kind of stuff. Yeah, fair enough. Who knows? Yeah, all right. Just take Rufio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can take oh, it for a spin. Oh.